Previously on Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, one thing that I think people need to keep in mind is that Bridge changes their openings so much. But yeah, don't worry, uh, the opening will change. I give it like 10 episodes max. Well, well, well. Look who was right. Now, to be fair, I wasn't expecting to be right this soon, but as they say, we take those. You know, I was kind of expecting maybe episode 5 or 6, but I mean, hey, episode 3, sure, why not? Um, anyways, yo guys, and welcome to my review of episode 3 of Yu Gi Oh! Go Rush. A uh, very um, different kind of uh, episode compared to what we're used to. But overall, I really liked it. Uh, first, I guess we should go over the duel. Uh, this was definitely the best duel we've had so far, since obviously we had the use of spells. Still very tutorial-like, uh, but uh, yeah, overall a really good duel. I do wonder if the next one is also going to be, because we haven't technically had traps yet. Again, Yuhi set some in episode 1, but you know, we've never had them activated, so we're gonna have to wait and see. You know, I already really liked Yuamu, but I mean, this episode she really shined. Uh, her deck is really cool, kind of technological dragons, which is really sick. Uh, I like her ace, Bluetooth Burst Dragon, uh, and I love the Kaiba reference with its uh, attack. Uh, and just, I mean, we again see just how smart she is. Even Yuki says, like, she doesn't mess around when she duels, you know, she takes it seriously, which is really cool and, you know, we can definitely see that here. Uh, yeah, I really, really liked her uh, character here. Uh, Chupataro was interesting, you know, just that classic simp character in anime. I mean, the whole sheep thing was just really weird. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it really was like Cyrus and Dark Magician Girl, just really, really odd. Um, I do like that Monobu uh, and Yende Star instantly appeared in this episode, that's nice, just, you know, don't leave any character sidelined. Also that, you know, Nick Yagi, or Mr. Yagi, it's thankfully not confirmed yet, but Mr. Yagi had a lot of stuff to do with this episode as well, so... Yeah, overall a really, really good episode. Um, the end is what's really interesting to me is we see Chupataro at MIK, you know, obviously them trying to get information about him. He reveals that he can legally be on Earth because, you know, his family was here for generations and it basically he has like an alien pass to be on Earth. Uh, but then at the end, we find out that he's been working for Zuijo. Uh, he calls him and says like, the operation has been successful. Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, I think next week should be Yuhi versus Shupataro again. Uh, so that's really cool. You know, when we got the summary for this episode, it really did seem like we're gonna have like a almost like a horror type episode, obviously we knew it was going to be kind of in a comedic way, almost like a parody of horror movies, but yeah, it was uh, in a lot different way than I thought. You know, when it started, it kind of went in the way we expected, you know, we see these first two people who get attacked, uh, then we see Nick. Uh, the reason why Nick was attacked was kind of stupid, I'm not going to lie, the fact that he just said like her catchphrase and he attacked for that reason it was kind of weird but okay. I liked at the start of the duel when Manabu tries to stop Yuamu and says oh I'm going to take him, there's no point for these stupid rush duels and Yudius explains to him that rush duels are needed, that they can save people and then Manabu just backs down instantly so it it feels like they really do have M.I.K. wrapped around their finger, which I really liked. Also, their entrance was very Team Rocket-like, which I love. We once again see Yuhi's hair react to Chupataro, 
you know, we've seen that with all the aliens so far, UDS, Nyanda Star and Chupataro now. So that's interesting. We still technically don't know who stole the Earth Damar or Damar, however you say it, but uh, we still presume it was Kawai Tel who we see in the preview for next episode. Uh, we'll see if he's going to just randomly appear as kind of like a cameo for this episode and then we see him kind of further down the road and obviously the question is how many people work for Vijo? Is it just Chupataro? Is it only the three people that we see in the opening? Could there be more? We know that UDS is their goal from the summary of next week's episode and from that same summary we know that they succeed in it. Now obviously Yuhi will probably stop that and then we will have a different alien appear. That could be kind of what happens in the next few episodes where we meet one alien, they try to steal UDS, then someone defeats him, then we meet another and kind of go in circles at that point and then maybe in episode like 10 or 11 uh, we actually meet Zwaijo and kind of have that first arc finale. And now UTS is getting more and more recognition, which obviously will in some ways bring Manabu more back into the story because he's probably now going to try to solve more and more cases to kind of bring UTS back down. There is obviously a lot of stuff that they are trying to do and set up here. How much of that will be completed, we will find out at the end of the show, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to see where the show goes from now. But um, yeah, guys, that was my review of episode 3. Uh, just overall a solid episode. I'm definitely very excited to see what they do next week. Again, I'd love to see your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.